Hello everybody, welcome to Property Wealth Decoded and welcome back to the channel. The property cooling measures introduced on the 29th of September by now should be no news or it's not, or it's not news anymore. But not many people realise that apart from downgraders, they affect first-time homeowners as well. I'm Harvey, a property analyst with 16 years of corporate and realtor experience. And here's how I think that first-time buyers can react to the new measures. First piece of advice today is I believe that you should reprioritize your debt and be aware of your current loan interest rates. I think interest rates have been dominating headlines across all mass uh, media today and we all know that the direction of interest rates has one way in the short term is upwards. And the measures that were introduced on the 29th of September did have some impact on borrowing. If you were to realise that for HDB buyers, if you would have borrowed some time back, it would be 85% of the price. But now it's dropped to around 80%. And because of that, I think that it does affect some people who are taking HDB loans. So what do I mean by reprioritizing your debt? It is important that the concept of total debt serviceability ratio or even loan to value it is actually pretty much uh, anchored down to the fact of whether and how much debt you have in totality over how much money that you owe. So why do I say reprioritize your debt? In my earlier videos, I had mentioned that it is important, for example, if you're looking for a house right now, that you may not prioritize um, the purchase of a car, for example. Many of my clients are in the situation whereby they, you know, maybe go ahead and make a purchase of a car um, just months before the purchase of a property. And I think that very much impacts their overall affordability, which is why I think it's important that you make your decisions right now based on the loan uh, obligations or debt that you might be taking up sooner rather than later. Secondly, I think if HDB buyers who are a little bit tight on cash, you may consider three-room flats. Um, if your lifestyle is able to do so, then maybe three-room flats in a more central location are great. And one of the measures that were changed was in regard to private owners who are selling to downgrade. What it means is if you're selling to downgrade, you have a 15-month wait-out period where you can't purchase an HDB flat. Now, the only group that may have some reprieve are senior citizens 55 years and above. If they sell, they can purchase anything below four room. A four room typology means that you can get a four room flat. Anything above five room flats, EA or maisonettes may not apply to them anymore. So when you look at this piece of information, what exactly does it mean to the market? I think one of the possible angles that the senior citizens may take is that they may now consider buying in the four room flat segment. And because of the way it's typology, you are able to buy a foreign flat and below. And meaning that these downgraders are typically cash rich and can transact quicker. And that also means that there may be more people looking at the forum segment as opposed to the five bedrooms and above. So this impact to the market is if you happen to be in the market looking for HDB right now, there could be certain reconsiderations or recalibration towards how the downgraders are seeing and which area and what segments they may be looking to buy. And of course, in, a, in that regard, they may also choose not to say downgrade per se into HDB segment. They could even reconsider buying an older or bigger private condominium, which is probably something that they can still afford, but definitely it will take a bit more of their cash, but they're still comfortably able to do so. And thirdly, as mentioned, if private property buyers are reconsidering their alternatives, they could probably go into the three or four room HDB segment, as well as even say, for example, a resale EC. And the resale EC boom has really been compounded with such measures as well. So other alternatives include a 99 year older leasehold condo, or even um, walk-up apartments that are on the low floor. I think the senior citizens could consider that as well. So if you're buying your first home with investment in mind, um, perhaps you can also be prepared 
that there will be such shift in mindset towards these areas in the market. And lastly, a word for the downgraders. Many analysts have mentioned that, oh, um, when you sell your property and then you can't buy within the 15 months, that means that the rental market will go on a boom. I would be a bit more calibrated with that thinking because most of my clients, when they downgrade and they are older, for example, they don't really like to move that many times. So one of the strategies that could be employed is if you are selling to downgrade, and if you had a wait out period of 15 months, I may say that the rental market now is definitely a uh, short squeeze. There are not enough units to go around. And one of the things that you could consider doing is to do a lease back with your buyers if your buyers are in no rush to move into the unit. And if they have some time that they can afford to give you, then if you could lease back from them, that should help to appease that 15 month wait out period without too much of uh, moving around, at least it buys you some time to go around to look for certain products or certain uh, assets in the market that would suit your needs more. And these are all the potential repercussions that will happen due to the cooling measures. In summary, I believe that the market doesn't just uh, go one way. I think a lot of uh, advice and a lot of considerations are going behind everybody's uh, real estate moves today. And we can no longer say that HDB is a definite go-to for downgraders um, when they so-called cash out their condos. I think um, it's more important that people consider when they are downgrading that there are multiple options available and not just think that HDB is definitely just the go-to market as well. So if you like what you heard so far or if you are in the midst of thinking about uh, your next move, and all these measures are weighing you down and you're not sure what you need to do next, feel free to contact me and also drop some comments below so that I can cover them in my next video. Thank you.